Katie from Galileo, and I work to create programs to help kids grow as innovators. I'm here with today's project challenge. Your goal is to create a set of three goofy friends that fly through the air in different ways. To do this, you'll need to be visionary and imagine three really different designs for each friend. Come on, I'll show you how to get started. For this challenge, you'll need a gallon Ziploc bag, paper, drawing tools like markers, color pencils, or if you want, just a pencil. Scissors, pennies, tape, and sometimes blue tape works really well to hold our pennies behind our floppy friends, but use what you have at home. Masking tape also works great. To make one of our floppy friends, grab a piece of paper and cut it out with scissors to create the base or body. This will be the largest piece of paper that you will attach to your floppy friend. If it helps, use a pencil or marker to draw your design first and then cut. Then use paper and markers to create the arms, legs, hair, nose, tentacles, or any other creative ideas you have for your floppy friend. Next, we'll need to attach all these parts with tape. Use a plus sign style of taping to keep your floppy friend's parts attached. After, you'll need to tape the pennies to the back of your floppy friend between the head and the body. Use the same taping method with the plus sign. Here, we taped four pennies. Finally, we'll need to get our testing device prepped. Take your gallon Ziploc bag and blow air into it, then seal. You'll want to make sure that it's not fully inflated, otherwise it will just pop and not launch our floppy friend. You may need to adjust this as you test, but have no fear, your floppy friend is here. Now we are ready to test. We want to see how our floppy friend flies. Can they jump on a table? Can they jump on a chair? Can they jump to the ceiling? Can they stay high up in the air? This is a great chance to get creative with the spaces you have at home, and maybe you'll create a landing target for them too. To do this, place your floppy friend onto the top of the Ziploc bag. When you're ready, use both hands as if you are clapping to hit each side of the bag at the same time and see where your friend flies. But don't stop there. What other ways can you be visionary to change the way you launch your friend from the bag? After you've tested your first floppy friend, make a new floppy friend. Be visionary by thinking about how to make a difference. Will you change the body paper size? Do the arms or legs need to be longer or shorter? Should you add more appendages to your floppy friend? I made a totally new version of a floppy friend by shortening their arms and adding two pennies to the back. Once you've created two floppy friends, go back and test your visionary designs at your launching pod. See how your second design flies differently from your last. Finally, design one more floppy friend that is different from the first two. Maybe they will have a shorter body or longer arms. Test all three friends after you're done with your design. The sky's the limit with these friends. Okay, that's it for this challenge. If you created some visionary flying floppy friends, we'd love to see a photo or a video of it. So please share. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.